best years is 18 to 30. Men who say that shit are the most afraid of dying alone. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So this video is the part two video of the video I posted previously of the black man who came on to tell women above 30 that they have the prize, they are for goodwill, that oh, if once you're from 18 to 25, 25, that means you have the prize. As you grow older, nobody wants you and all that. And this has struck a bigger conversation. I already posted a part one of women reacting to his statement. So if you want to get the women's reaction, go check out the previous video, which I'll leave down in the description box and also up in the card. Go check it out so you, you get context of what we are talking about. So I'm going to play this black man's video and what he said. And we are going to hear men's reaction to this. I'm really interested to see what the men have to say if they agree to this saying that when a woman is 30, that means she's off the market. That means nobody wants her. I'm really interested to hear what they have to say. Okay, so let's go check it out. Then we'll come back and talk more. Women, what part of nature don't you understand? Your best years is 18 to 30. After 30, you're half off. 35, now you're on, now you're about to be clearance sale. Then after that, you're in the old Navy. No, not even the old Navy, the Salvation Army after that 40 and up. You got to think about it. You gave birth. That ruined your body. Some of you can bounce back, but your body's still not what it was when you was 18 to 30. Stop going to these women that are out of date who hit the wall. At 30 years old, that's the wall for you women that slow today. Yes, you run into the wall at 30. That's why you're half off after that. Let's watch the video. Do you talking about women are half off at the age of 30? No, they're not. I don't think some of you have really dealt with a grown woman who's out of that immature stage, one where you can walk into her own crib and it's set up right because the ambiance in a grown woman's crib is amazing. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they always got a little furry dog running around the place, but we're not going <laughs> to talk about that. But they're not going to play those immature games with you. Mm -hmm. They go make sure you good. You don't got to sit up there and try to be like, damn, you're not going to do nothing for me. No, she going to make sure you good as long as you make sure she good. Mm -hmm. Especially they take care of themselves, stay in the gym. They do what they need to do to stay right because that's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And it looks amazing on them. That's another plus. And please, but please don't get me started on their style. There is nothing better than that grown, sexy look Ooh. that I'm going to be fully covered, but it's still sexy on me like that Savannah James style. Perfect. Perfect. Every time. I'll take that over the, uh, the slutty look of the I'm 21. I'm about to go to a nightclub and... Y'all are tripping, but please keep sleeping on these grown women. And this goes like 28 up, all that, I'm about to hit 30. Y'all keep sleeping on them. Tell them. Your best years is 18 to 30. After 30, you're half off. So there's a thing that I do before I make any statement on the internet. And that is to ask myself, am I attractive enough Ooh. to have this opinion publicly? And if the answer is no, which it often is, I shut up. If the answer is yes, I go with it. But when you have risky opinions, certain jokes you want to make, if, if you don't have the skill, the, looks. the articulation, or the attractiveness to be able to make said joke or said statement, I feel like you should just shut up. That's my own personal opinion. You don't got to do nothing. But I'm just saying... It don't be looking, it, it don't be going well for y'all. I wish y'all would just, you know, live your life. Y'all want to do whatever y'all want to do. Go ahead. I want y'all to make better decisions. I want better things for y'all in y'all life, even when y'all don't. Women, what part of nature don't you understand? Your best years is 18 to 30. After 30, you're half off. I want to start this video by saying, when you come on TikTok, you can say whatever you want to say. What? But... They come with consequences. Mm -hmm. You can't look like God had a time restraint when he was making you and then say shit like that. Because here's how it works on TikTok. If you're good looking and you speak facts, everybody's okay. If you're not good looking and you speak facts, they're going to talk about how you don't look good, but they're still going to agree with your point. Here's the flip side. If you're good looking and you speak you might get a few passes. They're still going to talk about how you speak. But at the end of the day, you'll be okay. If you're not good looking and you speak. 
Now, now you're being greedy. You're trying to double down. You can only pick one. You can't look like that and speak bullshit because now you're being greedy. <laughs> you're being greedy. Don't you understand? Your best years is 18 to 30. Men who say that shit are the most afraid of dying alone. Like, seriously, if you think about it. Women say shit all the time like, oh, if I don't find a man at 30, 40, 50, I'm going to be alone. Or let's say shit like, oh, maybe I should be gay, jokingly. Or not jokingly, but still. Women are more content with being alone. It's men who are terrified. That's why they say this dumb shit. Because they're desperate. But not enough to stop being delusional. Part of nature, don't you understand? Your best years is 18 to 30. Why is it always people who look like this? It's got some shit to say like this. Don't even respond. Women, what part of nature don't you understand? Your best years is 18 to 30. After 30, you're half off. As a man that is in his 30s, I can tell you right now that women are far from half off. If anything, women that are in their 30s don't want to deal with half of the lies. They don't want to deal with half of the manipulation. Exactly. They don't want to deal with half of the trauma or half of the baggage. Mm -hmm. If anything, women don't want to deal with half of the men. Exactly. Women in their 30s, it's like them living in their 20s. But this time around, they got bread, bro. These women are in the gym, bodies looking right. Ooh. They're getting smarter than ever before. They got their own car, got their own crib. Mm -hmm. They got emotional intelligence. They have discernment. Mm -hmm. Why in any kind of way would you think that a woman that's in her 30s lacks value? The only way a woman can ever like value is if she has no sense of self-worth or value within herself. See, you can't manipulate a woman that's in her 30s by telling her that she's not good mm -hmm. enough because she's in her 30s just so she can deal with a guy like you. Mm -hmm. She never would. Mm -hmm. If you come across a woman that's in her 30s that does not allow men to have access to her at any given time, bro, she is going to be harder and harder to get a hold of, harder to obtain in any kind of way. Mm -hmm. So if there's anything I would truly tell you about a woman in her 30s, bro, she knows who she is. She has everything that she needs that if she finds a man, she doesn't find a man because she needs him for anything but love. Mm -hmm. So if you find a woman that's in her 30s that is on top, that has self-worth and value, she the right one. Women, what part of nature don't you understand? Your best years is eight. First, um, what part of science? It's science that a woman's libido goes up around 30 to 40. Around there. So, a woman's most sexually charged when she's older. So, if you're going to bring up science, that kind of disproves your point. Second, if, you're, if 18 is your magic number, that means you're waiting... That means at 17, you're waiting like a fucking predator. You're not, you're not, you're not a predator of that other P word. You're not there. But you're still waiting for them to move to pass this magic invisible number before you'll make your move. Yeah, it's pretty predatory. Second, um I want I want a woman that hasn't fully developed, ha hasn't been through shit. That way I look like the best case scenario. That's what that means. And um unless you're a guy without any baggage, you don't want a young chick. You don't want somebody without baggage. That way, when your shit comes up, they're like, Oh my god, you are so damaged. A chick that's actually been through shit is like, Holy dude, you're damaged. And you're not. Yeah, that's why we match. My dumbness that matches your fuckingness. We're both together. That's what you want. this 18 to 23 I don't want a chick that still goes out to the club every night I don't want a chick that can st that that's that can still go f for hikes and running around I want someone that idea of a day out is a good movie some good food an hour or two at tops and then some more food and then CP time. I definitely don't want a chick that can still pop shit like I used to.
that and um the only reason you want the only reason uh someone wants to play against someone that's only played in the in the in the minor leagues is when they ain't got game people that know how to play want to go want to go against an NBA all-star want to go go against someone that's played the game that that's played on all different courts cuz although we might not we might not be the best person you ever played against we can still get that ball we can still get the ball down the field Someone that can't even throw wants the goalpost to be a lot closer. That was like six different sports metaphors that made little to no sense. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section and even the men's reaction, what you think about the men's reaction. Go down in the comment section and share your thoughts, but please keep it respectful. You're on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So feel free to share your opinion. So here's my own thought on this. It's really interesting. And that's why I'm laughing and I'm smiling. That even the men are coming for this man's look. Like, I'm not one of those people that like coming for people's look or try to talk about, but this match is to come for women in their 30s and above 30s look. And even the men are not holding back. And like some of the men were talking about how women in their 30s and it, it's just what it is. Women in the 30s, we have our life figure out. We, have, we know who we are. We know where we're heading to. And we are solid. And we know exactly what we want. So men that, are, men that want to play games, we can easily identify them and get it well. But the ones that are for, we, can, we have good design, we're, we've done, we're doing the healing. We're, like, there's a whole lot of improvement in our life in our 30s. So, yeah. Like the other brother said, keep sleeping on women in your 30s. You're just sleeping on it. Like, I'm not saying nothing is wrong with um, the youngsters, people in their 20s. There's nothing wrong. I was my 22s, very impressionable, living my best life. But this 30 was a different one. And I'm super excited what 40 is going to bring. Like, I'm super excited. If 30 was this lit, I can only imagine how good 40 is going to look like in my 40s. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. Go on and share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. Yeah, we have banging conversations. So go ahead and share this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Do see.